Imagine this. You wake up tomorrow morning and your phone has no signal. You're thinking it's just a network issue, but then you start getting notifications on your laptop. Your bank account is empty, your Instagram is posting weird content, and your crypto wallet, it's drained. And the scariest part is hacker did all of this using nothing but just with your phone number. Trust me, this isn't some Hollywood movie plot. This exact scenario happened to over 40,000 people last year through something called SIM swapping. And today, I'm going to show you the exact 5-minute process hackers use to steal your entire digital identity and more importantly, how to make sure you're never their next victim. Believe it or not, your phone number has become the master key to your entire digital life. Okay, think about it. When you forget a password, what happens? They send a code to your phone, right? When you make a large purchase online, how do bank verify it's really you? They text your phone. When you log into your cryptocurrency exchange, what's the final step? A text message sent to your phone. And here's the terrifying reality. Hackers have figured out that they don't need to hack your accounts individually. They just need to convince your phone company to transfer your phone number to their device. Once they control your number, they control everything connected to it. SIM swapping, also known as SIM hijacking, is one of the fastest growing cyber crimes because it's devastatingly effective and surprisingly easy to execute. We're not talking about sophisticated technical skills here. This is pure social engineering that exploits the trust-based system phone companies use for customer service. So how exactly do criminal convince phone company employees to hand over your number and why is this attack so successful? Let me tell you about Jack Dorsey to answer this question. Yes, the former CEO of Twitter, in August 2019, Dorsey's Twitter account started posting offensive content and cryptocurrency scams. At first, people thought Twitter itself had been hacked, but the truth was far more embarrassing for one of the tech's most prominent leaders. Dorsey had fallen victim to SIM swap attack. Hackers had called AT&T, convinced a customer service representative that they were Jack Dorsey and successfully transferred his phone number to their device. Within minutes, they had access to his Twitter account and they used it to embarrass him in front of millions of followers. Now, if the CEO of Twitter, someone with unlimited resources and cybersecurity expertise, can fall victim to SIM swapping, what does that say about the people like us? But Dorsey was lucky. He only suffered public embarrassment. To be honest, that embarrassment is a lot to bear. But other victims have lost their life savings. In 2022, a college student named Michael Turpin lost $24 million in cryptocurrency after hackers swim swapped his phone and gained access to his digital wallet. The attack took less than 10 minutes from start to finish. These aren't isolated incidents. The FBI reports that SIM swapping attacks have increased by 400% in the past three years, with total loss exceeding $68 million annually. And those are just the reported cases. So let's break down the exact step-by-step -step process hackers use to steal your phone number. I'm going to walk you through the real methodology so you understand just how vulnerable we all are. Step one is information gathering phase. Before hackers even think about calling your phone company, they spend time collecting what they call social engineering ammunition. This isn't random, it's a systematic intelligence operation. They start with your social media profiles looking for personal info like your birthday, your mother's maiden name, pet names, or hometown etc. They check data breach databases to find previously stolen information associated with your phone number. They might even call businesses you frequently deal with pretending to be you to gather additional verification details. For example, a hacker might call your bank pretending to be you and say, I'm having trouble with accessing my account. Can you remind me what security questions I have on file? Often, customer service representative will read the question aloud, giving hackers exactly what they need. The shocking part, this research phase often takes longer than the actual attack. Now, step two is the phone company infiltration. Here comes the actual SIM swap. The hacker calls your phone carrier customer service line and says something like Hi, I'm Capson. I need to transfer my number to a new phone. Actually, I'm traveling and my phone was recently stolen. And hackers, they've already prepared answers for common security questions using the information they gathered in step one. When asked for your PIN, they might say I'm sorry, I'm so stressed about losing my phone, I can't remember my PIN, but I can verify my identity with my social security number and address, if that works. Here's the critical vulnerability. Customer service representatives are trained to be helpful and accommodating. 
If someone can answer basic verification questions, they often willing to help, especially if the caller sound distressed or urgent. Step three is the technical transfer. Once the customer service representative is convinced, they initiate what's called a SIM port. This transfer your phone number from your physical SIM card to a new SIM card that hackers control. The process literally takes less than five minutes. The representative enters a few commands in the system and suddenly your phone number is routing to the hacker's device instead of yours. Your phone number immediately loses signals and the hacker's phone starts receiving all your calls and texts. Step four is the digital takeover. Now the real damage begins. With control of your phone number, the hacker systematically targets your most valuable accounts. They go to your bank's website and click forgot password. The reset code goes to their phone. They access your email in the same way, then your social media accounts, then your cryptocurrency exchanges and whatnot. But here's the most shocking reveal about SIM swapping. And this is something that telecom companies desperately don't want you to know. Many of these attacks aren't just random hackers calling customer service. They are inside jobs. Federal investigations have uncovered entire networks of phone company employees who are being paid by criminal organizations to facilitate SIM swaps. These insider threats make SIM swapping attacks nearly impossible to defend against using traditional security measures. When the attack is coming from inside the phone company itself, your PIN codes and security questions become completely useless. So how can you protect yourself from SIM swapping even when the tech CEOs and cybersecurity experts fall victim. Here are five critical defense strategies. First, immediately contact your phone carrier and set up what's called a port freeze or number lock. This requires in-person verification with a photo ID before any SIM transfer can occur. Call your carrier today and ask specifically for SIM swap protection. Don't accept vague promises about account security. Second, never use SMS for two-factor authentication on important accounts. Instead, switch to authenticator apps like Google Authenticator or Authy or whatever you prefer. Let me know the best one in the comment as well. This will generate codes locally on your device and wouldn't be intercepted through SIM swapping. For your most critical accounts, use hardware security keys like YubiKey. Third is create unique, complex pen for your phone account that's completely unrelated to any other information about you. Don't use birthdays, addresses, or anything that could be found through social media or data breaches. And never share this pin with anyone, even family members. Trust me, you can hide the secret from them. After these three steps, you're almost shielded, but monitor your phone signal obsessively. If you ever lose signal unexpectedly, until you are in the middle of the forest, immediately assume you are under attack. Don't wait to investigate. Just like you do when you lose your phone, you report directly to the police, right? Immediately contact your bank, change critical passwords using a different device and call your phone company from a landline or another person's phone or your access phone or the person standing or sitting right next to you. And finally, diversify your contact methods. Don't make your phone number the single point of failure for all of your accounts. Use alternative email addresses for password resets, set up app-based authentication wherever possible, and maintain access to your accounts through multiple verification methods, not just the phone number. I hope it makes sense. SIM swapping proves that in our hyper-connected world, your phone number has become both your greatest convenience and your greatest vulnerability. The five minute attack that can destroy years of your digital life is a wake up call about how fragile our security system really are. Remember, the hackers aren't just targeting celebrities and millionaires anymore. They are targeting anyone whose phone number can be turned into profit this time. And as artificial intelligence makes social engineering attacks more sophisticated, this problem is only going to get worse. The question, isn't whether SIM swapping will continue to grow. It's whether you'll be prepared when hackers set their sights on your phone number. That's it for this video. Do give it a like if you've gained any information and please don't forget to subscribe. This will help me a lot. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay secure and take care.